really wanted to get this next video out earlier, but two things happened. One is I got my new Nikon D850. We'll do some videos on this later on. Two, it's Christmas. One of the things I got for Christmas was these pajama bottoms. They're really warm, very nice on a cold night. What is up everybody? We are back for a three minute tip on shooting basketball and today we're going to cover defense. <music> Defense is going to be pretty simple, and I'm not talking about the shots where you catch the people blocking the ball at the goal. That's going to be more of your shot photos, and the defense just happens. I'm talking specifically on focusing on the defense. Another thing I got for Christmas is this little griddle, and I can like cook one egg in it, like make these really small pancakes when I'm out on the road. Kind of cool. So the first thing we're going to do is go over some of the photos. What we're doing, such as in this photo here, is I'm trying to keep the focus on the defender with the offensive player in the foreground blurred out but keep the player in the back that's the defender in focus these are shots that aren't going to be the, the shots you see on the front page of a newspaper or the cover of a magazine not unless it's specifically talking about defender of the year or something they're about but these are great for gallery fillers and I usually try to have about two or three of these style photos in the galleries that I submit uh, but again you see here the the focus is on the player his focus is on the offensive player and I again this can be a full body shot I'm keeping them in a landscape format but we're showing the defender primarily focused on the offensive ball handler then we can start cutting the, the offensive player out and focus more on that defender and get more and more creative as we do this. For instance, this one I have the a full court press that's going on. I've got the defender on the ball handler and the defender's coach is over here on the side uh, and he's been screaming out instructions and, and basically cheering him on to keep that pressure tight. Here, the ball handler has the ball up and the defender is focused on that player he's looking for a way to try to get his hands on the ball again this is not a photo you normally see this one I've, i liked it because of the way the look was from the defender onto the offensive player the offensive player doesn't matter in this it's all on that defensive player another thing i got for christmas is this prism i had to watch a few videos to figure out how to use this in photography can you tell anything strange right there but some of the pictures i've seen with it are pretty cool what if you hold it sideways across it because of the way that it plays with light. One of the difficult things to do is when there is an attempt at a steal and it becomes a loose ball, when you see that pile up, shoot like crazy. This is one of those times where I often will spray and pray, so to speak. I'll throw the bead right into the mix of it and just keep firing to see if I can find an interesting shot. The defender is trying to grab the ball from the offensive player. A tied up ball is called shortly thereafter. These are good scenes in which you can pick up what is going on. Same thing here, the defender stole the ball from the ball handler and the ball is now loose. You've got the former offensive player jumping over the defender trying to get to it. Uh, just a different style shot. And here we have a loose ball in which defender is chasing toward the ball trying to get to it. That's a gumball over here if you can see. Gumball, and I don't like cats. But the defender is chasing after the ball, trying to save it before it goes out of bounds. Again, defensive shots, they're not your main shots. It's just going to be filler for your gallery, two or three shots out of, say, 20. But it does add something to complete that story of the game. Now, if you like the content today, please hit that like button so that other people that are looking through YouTube can spot us a little bit more easily. Make sure you subscribe and then hit that little notification bell and that will let you know whenever I upload more videos, which I'm gonna try to do at least two a week. Share and comment. I want to hear from you. What would you like for me to talk to you about for the next three minute tip? Have a great day. And another thing that I really needed and you can tell you're an adult when you get this and you're actually happy about it, I got new underwear.